Hello citizens of the internet and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft. Let's play. Well today we are going to go ahead and build a formal meeting area for our villagers. Um, I just had last episode a little bell on a little piece of wood and that, that's just not going to do it. Actually this design comes from um, an inspiration that I had a long time ago. Um, many years ago I traveled to Africa, specifically to Kenya and Tanzania for some charity work. And uh, while I was there, uh, we were able to um, take a little break and go to a photo safari in uh, Masai Mara National Park. And while I was there, the, the place that we stayed at had this really cool meeting area and this central area with kind of like a big fire pit. So I thought we would do something like that for our little Savannah village here. So if building a formal meeting area sounds like a plan, then let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at the materials we'll need for this build. There's not very many, so this won't take long. We have 33 acacia logs, 24 polished andesite blocks, 24 polished andesite stairs, 25 cobblestone blocks, four cobblestone slabs, 28 cobblestone walls, 60 spruce slabs, 16 spruce planks, 40 spruce stairs, eight acacia fence gates, eight acacia fences, five lanterns, two campfires, and a bell. So we're gonna start by just grabbing the materials we'll need for the base of this, which right now it's gonna be the cobblestone, the slabs, and we'll grab the andesite, andesite stairs, put our food up here, and our acacia logs. So the first thing we're gonna do is mark off where the center of this little section is where we want to be the center of our village. Oh, hello, little dude. Um, let's just say that it's about I mean, it's not perfect, it's not a perfect circle. We'll just say it's about right there. Um, now, off of each direction, we're gonna come two with our cobblestone. So, one, two that way, one, two this way, one, two this way, and then one, two this way. Now, we're gonna put um, two next to that like that, and then one here. So, we should have, basically, we're gonna fill this in and leave the corners open. So, two here, one, two here, one, two here and one and however you want to think about that but you should have a area that looks like this now with our four remaining cobblestone we're going to come off one in every direction and we might have to change our path um, I it may be a little bit too small for this uh, but that's fine we've got plenty plenty of room around here that we can expand now off of each one of these little sections we're gonna go ahead and drop down one of our slabs so our cobblestone slabs right there like that and this is just to help us get the idea of what the design is going to look like when um, we start putting some of the other blocks in. We're going to switch over to our polished andesite blocks and put them down next to each one of these cobblestone blocks. So one there, one here. We'll just work our way around like this. There. And once we have that done, we'll fill in each of these gaps like that with another polished andesite block. There. Okay, now the next thing that we're gonna do is fill in this remaining area here. Hello, little man. So we're gonna keep with the polishite andesite blocks. So we have a section that looks like this, okay? And we'll do that around each corner. There, until they're all down just like that. Looks like we're gonna have another little, little maybe librarian baby over there. Yep, man, these guys are going crazy with their breeding. Uh, we have quite a few villagers now. We have a, our little uh, weaponsmith right there. We have a baby villager right there. There should be, oh yeah, two right here. Yeah, we're, this place is going to be teeming with uh, villagers here pretty soon. Now, off of each one of these corners, uh, we're going to skip the corner right here, and we're going to put down an acacia log like that. So, uh, skip the corner, acacia log. Skip the corner, acacia log. Skip the corner, acacia log. There, and that's the uh, where all the acacia logs structure is going to go up. Now we can switch over to our polished andesite stairs, and then off of each one of these logs, we're going to put andesite stairs that come off in every available direction. So around each one like this.
and there we go. So that is all the polished andesite stairs. Now we have kind of our design for where we're gonna put our posts coming up, and they're gonna come up a total of three more. So we'll switch back to our acacia logs and come up three more. One, two, three, on every single one of these. One, two, three, and let's go around. I initially said you need 33 of these uh, wood blocks. That was because I was reading off the screen. Uh, it's actually 32. I just, when I took down the uh, bell that was here before, it had an acacia block below it, and that went into my inventory. Also, um, I noticed that that stair behind me uh, is placed on wrong, so we're gonna go ahead and correct that really quickly. No shame in making mistakes like this. It's Minecraft, it's easily uh, correctable, so we'll put that down like that. Okay, now that we have our acacia logs around in this area here, let's drop down some of the other design elements. So let's go ahead and um, grab our cobblestone walls, our acacia fence gates, our acacia fences, our spruce slabs, and our spruce planks and let's go ahead and we'll keep we'll keep these guys around actually we can get rid of the the shovel out of here and we'll bring down our, our spruce stairs as well uh, these are all things that we'll need for this next part of the build so we can go ahead and put down a wall in between each one of these um, acacia logs like this so four around like that we're gonna switch over to our acacia fences and put a fence on top of each one like so like that, and then we'll need to, you know, come back up here again. You can use, either use temporary blocks, or what I'll do is I'll just take this down and then rebuild it. Now, around the center area here is where we're going to put the kind of the rest of these uh, walls. So we're going to put a wall down here, here, and here. Basically, they're one off of the center, like that. We're going to have a campfire down in the middle, and this is just going to be around to protect the area. So uh, now we're going to surround this with uh, our acacia gates around like so. And then on each one of uh, these uh, walls, we're gonna put an acacia fence post coming up like that. That should be the rest of those. And now we're gonna put um, walls on top of each one of these acacia fences like so. We're gonna go ahead and put our last four fence gates up like so, like this. There. Now we can use this to build up, and we'll go ahead and close those for right now. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and pillar up here. Need that. Okay, now that we're up here at the top, we can go ahead and put in the uh, walls coming across here like that. Um, I'm not gonna be able to make that jump, am I? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do instead. So while we have that one up there like that, let's switch over to our slabs and we can do this at the same time. So coming off the front, we're gonna put down upper slabs, which is just the slab that's on the top part of the block. And we're just gonna trace around the exterior like this. And then we'll drop the walls down as we work our way around up here with our slabs. That's coming across here, trace around there and then we can switch back to our wall drop our wall down and I'll just continue to do this all the way around okay now that we have the whole area around the outside done let's do the next level up so once again with our slabs we'll start right here and we're just going to come across whatever side you're on until you cover up each area and then put one down like that and then one here and then one here so you should have a nice zigzag kind of formation at the top of this gazebo. So come off like this, I'll show you again, right there and right there, and then across the front. And then once again here, and then finishing it off, the last four slabs like that, and we're done with our slabs for now. Now switching to our stairs. So we're actually gonna put stairs on this in between right here where there's an opening for three put our stairs like this so one two three oh not like that tricky tricky stair no like that okay now we're going to do this around each one of these sides there now that that's done um in between each one of these stairs we're going to go ahead and put one of our spruce planks like that so it's about it's the same height as the little part of the stair that's popping up at the top so we have four coming up like that. And as you can see, what we're doing is we're, we're basically trying to build this up in a way that looks like it's kind of sloping up subtly and it'll come up kind of like a little cone coming up like this. 
Now we can go ahead and switch back to our walls and we're gonna put down our cobblestone walls across the top of this inner structure like this. There we go. And then in the middle of each one of these, we're gonna come up with one more cobblestone wall in the center until they are all gone, just like that. And this also gives us something to build this next level off of. So picking any of these sides, we're gonna put a stair like that in the middle of each one. There. Then facing into each corner, we're gonna put a stair like that. So into each corner, a stair like this. And then finally right here and right here. Then you guessed it, in the middle right here again, we're gonna do another one of our planks. So coming across the top like this, there we go. Now let's go ahead and on top of each one of these walls, we're going to put one more of our spruce planks like this. And then we're going to go ahead and put down one more around the top like this. There we go. Now let's grab our campfire and we're gonna put these down right here against that plank. And that'll be enough to send the smoke up high enough then we can switch back to our stairs and come up with the stairs coming around each side like this. So we have a nice cone coming up from the top. Um, now let's drop down here and we can come into the inside. So there's our little cone shaped chimney coming up like that. And now that we're down here, there's a couple things we want to do. We want to put upside down stairs along the inside of the ceiling like this. So we're coming around, oh, not right there. Grab that one, did not want to do that. Okay, right there like that, and then coming around this way. It gets a little tight to move around when you're looking up, having the wall back here um, like that. And finally like that, is that the last one? I think so. Um, now this is optional, so the reason why I left this one open, you don't have to do this. But if you wanna have a decoration in here, you can put a lantern, that's why I have the five lanterns. Or you can have these four upside down stairs. So uh, you can put upside down stair like that and it just kinda of finishes it off. Or optionally, like I said, come down here, grab our lanterns and we're gonna put a lantern up like that. And then one like that, one like that, and one like that. Now our final lantern, um, you can, this is actually optional as well. You can have another lantern up here if you want. Um, above the campfire, you can have the lantern sitting out here. Like I was just gonna put this one kind of hanging off or just sitting down on uh, the ground like here, just as a decoration, um, since this is where most of our family housing is. And you know, just a nice little area for us to come up to. You can also have this sitting on a post if you want as well. Now we can go ahead and put our open this up and we're gonna put our bell hanging up from the top like this. So we got our bell and that's hanging off the bottom of that campfire and then we're gonna put our last campfire down here like that. And there we have it, that is our, oh, oh we're getting lots of golems around here. Hello, villagers wanna be safe. So that is our little build for today. Um, really simple, just a nice little place for our villagers to congregate. Oh, and we got a kitty cat. Um, that is a jelly, I think. So you know what we're gonna do before we call this episode done? We're gonna go tame that cat. I'm gonna go grab some salmon or some other raw fish. Excuse me, sir. Oh my gosh, villagers everywhere now. That's the thing in a village, right? Uh, you get tons of villagers, so we'll grab that. They do not like cooked anything, so we will grab raw. Let's come over here real quick and see if we can get this cat. Here he comes, good. Yay, we got a jelly, we got a jelly. It's a fun day. Hi, kid. All right, oh, open hand. There we go, come on, kitty. Let's go this way. Oh, we got another cat too. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can get this cat over here too. And somebody's gonna have to give me a name for uh, this cat. That cat, uh, the first cat we tamed, will always be Scar's cat and it'll always be called Jelly, no matter 
what game I'm playing, that is Jelly from now on. Now this kitty cat, though, um, that stealthily disappeared somewhere, it can be named whatever the audience wants to name it. Yay! We got just tons of kitty cats. And I'm going to have to go fishing again. Um, that way, because as they keep on breeding, we're going to have more and more cats around. But let's go ahead and... Uh, can I get you guys to teleport over this way? We can put our cats kind of around. That way, if um, we get creepers around here... Oh, they are not coming nearby. They are just sticking over there. <laughs> just like a real-life cat. It does not do what you expect it to do. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you've enjoyed seeing this build of this little town meeting center for the Savannah Village, then uh, please leave a like. Click that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you don't miss an upcoming episode. I'm going to continue to work on this village, and um, I think in the upcoming episodes, we're going to do a cartographer house. We're going to do, oh, hello, teleporting cats. That was really creepy and weird, but um, it, enjoyable. Can I, can I say that was enjoyable, too? Um, cartographer house uh, we are going to do let's see what else do we have that we're gonna do oh i was going to do an archery range for our fletcher and a fishing like kind of cabin for our fishermen so until next time this has been dad's guide bye for now